The game has been over for a few hours now. And <laughs> I'm so happy you guys have no idea. And even though I may not sound like I'm happy, it's because a part of me is a little bit in shock and at a loss of words. I mean, don't get the wrong idea here. I have nothing but confidence in my fighting Irish. And I'm very confident every time that they step out on the field that they will win the game. There's no question about that. That's the kind of fan I am. I back this team 100%. But if you told me earlier this week that the Irish are going to beat the Miami Hurricanes 41-3, to even I would have called you crazy. Because I did not see the Irish winning this game by that, that big of a deficit. And it feels so great to be a fine Irish fan right now. It just... I just am in shock, but in the good the good way, the good kind of shock. Because I just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just a big, big win. Five in a row. Oh, man, it, it just it feels so good to be a Fighting Irish fan right now. It's great. I mean, that performance tonight was just unbelievable. I mean, to, to beat the Miami Hurricanes 41-3, to just... To give them a thrashing like that is just, it's just unreal. It is very unreal. Now look, to any Miami fan watching this video, before anyone calls me out on this, hey, I'm not, I'm not delusional. I saw the same thing that you guys saw tonight. We had, we got some big breaks out there. Some very big breaks. You know, I mean, there's no denying that. There's no denying that whatsoever. I mean, for starters, if Dorsett doesn't drop that that pass on the first play of the game, he waltzes right into the end zone, no problem for six. And same on the, it was, I think it was the very next uh, offensive drive that Miami had, either the second or the third, I can't remember. But um, he had another key drop. And that one most likely would have gone for a touchdown too. So really... Really, we should have started this game being down by 14. I mean, I don't deny that. I you, you can't argue that. That's just, that's how it happened. Now, I still think that we would have went on to win this game, but obviously, had Miami not made those mistakes and miscues that, that they did tonight, it would have been a completely different game. And I certainly don't think we would have won by the deficit that we did tonight. But anyway... Look, mistakes are just a part of football. That's just, this game is so unpredictable, You, the unexpected will happen. You know, that's just, that's how this game always has been, and that's how it always will be. Um, but aside from the, the mistakes that Miami made tonight, we played really well as a team tonight. I mean, the defense, the, even though the defense got burned a few times, they stepped up and made some big plays. And, you know, just maybe... Just maybe this secondary is for real. I mean, look, everyone's going to make mistakes. And even though we got lucky on, on, some, on some plays tonight and, uh, and some cer certain situations, they played well. And nobody can deny that. Um, the on, Offensively, a fantastic performance. Just like, just like uh, when I, that I stated in my preview for this game. I said that the, one of the key things was we had to get something going on offense, and damn it, we did that tonight. Uh, around, what was it, 500 yards of total offense, I believe, 300-plus on the ground. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And in particular, George Atkinson in the third and Sierra Wood, they had field days out there today, just hitting the holes hard and just running people over. It was great to see. It just... All the signs were there tonight that this team is heading in the right direction, that they are progressing, that they are learning from their mistakes. Now, Everett Golson, you know, we saw him two weeks ago. He took a, a major step back in that against Michigan. But tonight, he took one giant step forward. He looked sharp out there tonight. He was making his throws. He was he was crisp. He was he was uh, very fluent. He did a... And, on top of that, what I was really happy to, happy to see was he finally was able to get his running game going and, and you know use that 
use his legs to his to his advantage. I mean, he really hasn't gotten a chance to do much of that this year. So it just he just shows tonight that the sky is the limit. This, uh, for with for Coach Kelly, the sky is the limit with Everett Golson. So much room for potential there, and you know he's really, despite how being young and you know being timid as a first-time starting quarterback, he's done really well. He's progressing nicely, and you know I think things can only get better for him. You know, he looked really sharp out there tonight. Now, granted, he won't get the credit for uh, tonight's game being the starting quarterback because. Technically, Tommy restarted the game because uh, you know Everett had to sit out that first series because he violated a team rule. Uh, I believe it was because he missed a, a team meeting or something like that. But still, though, Everett was the key guy tonight. He was the main man, and he performed well. That whole offense performed well in general. And um, you know, another key big surprise was uh, seeing Cam McDaniel Cam McDaniel come in when his number was called and. You know, really run hard, hit the holes hard, and, you know, he deserved that touchdown at the end. So, to all you Miami fans out there, if you thought we were running up the score, hey, you have to agree with the effort that he put up out there tonight. He deserved a touchdown. But I just, uh, <laughs> this is great. This is really great. I mean, uh, this is not what I expected to happen tonight. To win this game by 38 points, it's just like I said earlier, I would have called you crazy if you told me that we were going to win by 38 points. Because I really didn't expect it. You know. But it's just, uh, <laughs> this is, it's just, this is, it's just great to be a Notre Dame fan right now. It, this is a, this was a fun game to watch. Um, you know, but, uh, despite what the final score says, you know, I, I do tip my hat off to the Miami Hurricanes. Um, you know, they're despite what that score says, they're not a bad team. This is still a very young team, and you know we're going to see these guys again in the, in the near future, especially with the you know our five game uh, schedule with the with the ACC coming up in the next couple years. And you know I saw that I believe they had let's see what was it like fifty or sixty underclassmen. So yeah, this is a very young team that's only going to get better, and you know. I, I do think that Al Golden does have this team going in the right direction, but you know, just they're like I said in my preview, they're the same as us right now. They're kind of trying to get you know their growing pains like like we did the first two years under Coach Kelly. So you know they're they're going to be a tough team in the near future, that's for sure. And you know, one thing that we definitely got out of them tonight was uh, you know. We learned tonight that we got to be ready for these uh, teams with a lot of speed on them, you know. And <laughs> you know, had, they, had Miami not made the miscues that they did, we might be seeing a different outcome right now. So it just shows that we have to be prepared and we have to really continue to learn from our mistakes and and you know just uh, just keep stepping up and be prepared for you know speedy teams. I, I don't know what I don't know how much more I can say other than that. So it really it really opened our our eyes to those certain things that we need to work on as we progress uh, in the rest of the season here. But anyway, um, you know I don't really know what else to say in this video except uh, this was another big win for us. Uh, definitely going to be moving up in the polls. I don't know how many spots, you know, uh, but I guess we'll just wait and see tomorrow. I mean, personally, I think we should be at number seven, but we'll, you know, weird. Uh, too many things to figure in right now, and I'm just, uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still, uh, you know, soaking this victory in tonight. It was a lot of fun. And uh, speaking of the victory, uh, Birdman, if you're watching this video, you owe me a shirt, man. And uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll as when I once I get done making this video, I'll send you my uh, my contact information, my shirt size, and all that. So, but uh, yeah, with that, guys, <laughs> go Irish. Took care of business. We're on our way, baby. 